This is Paranormal Short Session 7 by Keith Evans. I'm at the Chestnut Street Cemetery in Apalachicola, Florida. And today I'm just going to be doing a walk around. I'm not going to stay at any one grave and ask questions to any one person. I'm going to be using my Obelisk 5 today instead of my envoy kind of switch it up a little bit just to see what type of results i get as i walk through i'm gonna let the ghost of spirits come to me if they want to talk hello hello well i got two words already hollow and enter hmm let me walk over here in the shade so you can get a better look at my uh, obelisk five so they they were the words that came up i had my obelisk five on for about maybe two minutes or so before i uh started my uh video camera so that's in the vir in in the environment but that can still be a ghost or spirit that is in the environment that have chosen those words enter is i-n-n-e-r and hollow is H-A-L-L-O-W. I know that uh, different people do different types of uh, activities here as fundraisers. And uh, so maybe they're talking about the fundraiser they have at Halloween. I think it's a very respectful. I've never actually gone on any of the tours that they do for fundraising but I hear it's really respectful there's uh Anna Lizette Fry Lizette was the there was a a uh, pharmacist by that name here see how the railing is is starting to uh fall apart and the big tree I don't know how that came up. <laughs> I got like a pop-up over the video, but it didn't stop the video. So I guess the Ghost of Spirits trying to play with my camera. It's no disrespect for the Ghost of Spirits that the fence is not being kept up. Uh, iron is historical, but it's not going to last. So uh, it'd be nice if they would choose some other type of fencing that would still look nice and you know not be so vulnerable to time it would last longer maybe just uh something to go around the side that stone that could last i get any more words mm, negative let me see here's a tombstone that has fallen down they can barely read the, uh, I'll stand on top of the grave to show you, you know, <sighs> there's one there and there's one here. They're pretty much on top of each other in this area. If, uh, if this was, oh, go over in the shade so I can see what you're saying. Sound like temperature and voice. September and voice. September is spelled S E P T E M B E R and voice is V O I C E. September voice. How do you like to have them do something in September so you can be heard? Father Peter Montgomery died in 1861. That's a unique tombstone there. Let me walk over. There's a tree that they cut down. It looked like the tree had damaged this brick. They had the right ideal to use brick. It's long lasting. I 
Uh, I can't read. Let me see if I can try to zoom in. That might help when I look at it later on. James T. Mick King. Hmm, that's interesting. And that one there is damaged. Let's walk over here and look at these before I come back up. My name is uh, Keith Evans. Uh, who is the ghost of spirit that said the uh, words uh, September voice? Because I think they only have the uh, fundraising tours here in the cemetery twice a year. Once in the spring and once around Halloween. This is the art gone. And uh, so I can't read that. Thy loss we deeply feel, but this God that has benefits can he can all our sorrow heal. I don't see any name on this tombstone. If it was there, you can't see it now. Uh, kind of back off a little bit, maybe. Oh, gosh. Looks like Henry, middle initial E, Pryor, Henry Pryor. Let me, let me take it out of Zoom so you can see better. Oh, sorry about that. I forgot to take it out of Zoom. Now uh, we can zoom in just on this one. I don't know if that helps you be able to see it better or not. I guess when I go to read it, it, it will help. All right, I'm going to zoom out. Go back over to here. This one looks like it was right tall and it's been damaged. You can see, uh, I guess this part looks like the base and then this and that was the cap. Wow. And that says, Gustave M. Peterson. I'll zoom in for you and zoom back out. All right. See, this is what I like. I think all of them should have this and do away with the iron. It'd be nice if they had enough money to do that each year. Maybe they kind of like the rustic look for the Halloween type uh, activities, but. My shadow's in the way. Looks like Sarah Emma G A U D E S Guards. I know. Dr. Gorey had a daughter named Sarah. I don't know what her married name was. I don't know if that's her and that's her middle name, but she was the only one that stayed in uh, Apalachicola. Oh, she was buried. No, that's not her, because I remember the book said she was buried. Before she died, she moved back up to uh, Mariana, where her, I think her mother had property. I don't know if her father owned any property up there or not. And she lived there and died there and she was buried there. And I think her mom was buried there too. Okay, let's get back to this one. This says... 
zoom in our brother Samuel Montgomery now Montgomery's had a, a department store here in um, Apalachicola for years oh I put the put the uh, obelisk back in my pocket and I just heard a word let's see what that word is Uh, safe breaker gale. Safe is S A F E. Breaker is B R E K B R E A K E R. Gale is G A I L. Hi, Gale. My name is Keith Evans. I've got Gale before while I was here. I just want to let the ghosts of spirits know, as a reminder, some some of you might be new. I put this on YouTube. Uh, Instagram and Twitter so if you don't want to be on those forms of electronic media then please don't choose a uh, word from the Obelisk 5 you know I don't think there's any other way you could be involved and be on the social media platforms if you don't choose a word you know if you want to form so I can see you physically you know then that's up to you but if you do and the camera can pick it up you'll be on social media so just want to let you know, that way I'm up front with you. Safe Breaker Gale. Is that the name Gale, or are you talking about a uh, wind gale? Uh, there's some talking in the background, but it's a gentleman walking down the street. It says on this side, our father... Peter Montgomery looks like Ireland Is it Conley Ireland October 14th 1817 Apalachicola Florida Whew. maybe August has a G and a dot behind it August Tiff, 1861. All right. And I'm not sure who said these words here. Safe breaker gale. Gale, were you here? I've gotten the word gale spelt G-A-I-L before. Uh, at other locations that I was at in uh, Apalachicola. So that seems to be a popular name. Gail, do you know what year you passed away? So we have a frame of reference as to, you know, who you are and what we can uh, ask you or, you know, since you reached out. Our mother, Kath, Katharine Anderson uh, Montgomery. Let's see. She was a uh, country birth, Ireland, May 5th. 1837 and uh, Apalachicola, Florida, February, looks like 13th, 1906. That's another neat little, uh, or actually large, that's a large tombstone there. All right. See if there's any more words on our uh, on the Obelus Five. Oh, still got Gale. 
Breaker and Gale, um, Safe Breaker and Gale. All right, this says Hearer Estate, the body of Catherine Span, born 17 May. 1853, October 29th, 1900. So I like the way they did that. That's pretty cool. And it's just a, uh, looks like it had brick with cement over it to protect their grave from grave robbers, or they'd have to probably dig in from the side if they wanted to get in that bad. So... No, this don't have a name on it, whether it's a footstone to this or whether it's got its own marker for whatever individuals are buried here. You can see the iron is, is giving way over the years. Well, I'm going to take a short break and then I'll come back with uh, another video. So this has been Paranormal Short Session 7 by Keith Evans at the Chestnut Street Cemetery in Apalachicola, Florida. And today is Friday, 17th June, uh, 2022. All right, wish everyone to have a good day. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you've seen anything or heard anything that I missed, please leave me a comment and let me know. Thank you. Have a good day.